how to set up a MIDI piano. It's actually quite simple. All you need is this little device over here, a MIDI piano with a MIDI USB input. This one over here. And a cheap little USB cable like this one over here. The power is most of the times just supplied via the USB, so we can just turn it on. As you can see, buttons are blinking, showing me that power is supplied. Now all you need to do is go to your search bar, type in the device that you are using. In my case, it's Lasers V61. And then you have to search for software or driver. I'll go for drivers. From there on, you just need to search for download, install it. And most of the times, it's fairly self-explanatory. All right, let's set our MIDI keyboard up in FL Studio. All we need to do, it's quite simple. We need to press F10 or we can click on Options and MIDI Settings. And now we are presented with this window over here. And all we need to do is we need to look out for our MIDI piano, MIDI keyboard, and we need to enable it. So down here, I know that my keyboard is called V61. You click on it, it was disabled in the first place, but now you enable it. And that's literally everything you need to do. Down here, you have a velocity curve. You can change the velocity curve on your own needs. If you want the piano to play a lot harder and a lot louder, set it up like this or like this, for example. If you want the key action to be a lot softer and quieter, you set it up like this. Another really important thing to consider is to check in the options right here on audio settings that you have checked ASIO for all or FL Studio ASIO, preferably FL Studio ASIO. If you are not checking your primary sound driver to FL Studio ASIO, your keyboard will have a really annoying and like unplayable kind of delay. You're clicking the key and the sound is just being played one second after you clicked it. So check FL Studio ASIO. This is really important. Next, I want to talk about the most amazing feature of the MIDI keyboard. It's the adjustable knobs and the button. I really love the buttons. They light up and give me beautiful visual support. The knobs are really nice as well as they have quite a sensitive feeling to them. Right here on this display you can see that the numbers go up or down. Really nice visual support. So how can we make use of it? We can make use of it in quite a creative way. We can use them for several different features and functions. Um, let's just take a look at a simple basic use case for them. We can open up the mixer channel for example and let's say we want to assign slot number three for example. And we just want to turn it off, turn the effect off and the effect back on. All we need to do is press here on this multi-link to controllers button. Then we need to take action. We need to just input something that the program knows what we want to do. So we press on slot number three like this. And now we press a button. Let's say we want button number three. So if we press this button now, we can press it again like this. So if it lights up, you can now see that the effect is enabled and if the light is out we press it again the effect is disabled and this is really simple as you can see it works in real time and it's just an amazing feature now let's say we want to assign a knob to a feature we do the same thing again we press on multi-link to controllers now let's say we want to adjust the volume we just give the program an action and the action is the adjustment this slider right here so all we need to do now is to twist a knob and as you can see it instantly works and that's just great what you can do with these features quite awesome you might use this knob to create an automation track so if you want to create an automation track with your MIDI keyboard you press on this record button over here right click and make sure that automation is checked over here let's say we want to record a volume automation we press on the record button and now we just twist and turn this button like crazy let's say that's it for now here we can see that we've created an automation clip with the volume <laughs> oh, yeah i'm breaking my back this is 
<laughs> way too heavy carry around all the time i shortly want to give you the information that you can actually use something like this fp30 fp10 stage piano or even a kawaii kdp or something like this your device just needs to have a midi input and all of the digital pianos have midi input so if you want something with a really high quality key action check out the review i did on the fp10 it's an amazing piano for the price like i already said you can even use a synthesizer that has built-in sounds or like this stage piano over here that has speakers and an inbuilt sound but you can just silence it over the volume button over here and use these beautiful high quality key beds inside of your favorite DAW, digital audio workstation of choice. So how can you customize your piano a little further? You can use something like this pedal, for example, by just plugging it in with this over here into your MIDI and you can access it in various different plugins. All right, that's it for this small little video. I hope you enjoy my content. Please give me a like, give me a comment, give me a dislike if you don't enjoy it and just interact with the channel a little bit so that a little more than 200 or 300 or 500 people can see the content and, and just some feedback in general. Have a great day and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>